All right. Uh, um, well, it's, it's blank there for a second. But all right, it's gonna be a hopefully quick tutorial on the playlist in some some not all of its features. So those of you that are pretty much professional, I don't know where you're watching this in the first place if you're professional, but. This is just some, not all, so don't start like super criticizing me saying, oh, you suck, you forgot this. Well, yeah, I'm going to say it again like for the 50th time. This is some, not all. Before we begin, I'd like to say make sure your annotations are turned on. And before asking any questions, you read at least the first couple of comments on the video. No, not the first, but the latest. To make sure no one else has a similar question. And I can't stress this enough, people. Read the video description. I mean... God, it's so annoying when I answer the question in the description and then people ask it anyway, but all right, I've wasted enough of your time for those of you who actually watch my entire videos. Um, okay, first of all, to start off, many people have a question, I mean, many, blah, many people have the question, uh, like, how do you get your playlist to look like this? Um, see this, there's two different playlists here. You, Normally, when you open it up, I think it's default like this. Come to the bottom, click and drag that up. You get this. Uh, I'm gonna go through the playlist features now. This is the pencil tool, basic tool for making stuff. Uh, click left click to make, right click to remove. Yeah, whatever. Paintbrush, which is used to create multiple pattern blocks really fast. Same thing as a pencil, pretty much, but you can create multiple. The pencil, it's a lot easier to get stuff and move it around because you don't have to worry about like spam creating. Uh, it's pretty much a deleter tool. Just use it to delete stuff, like a lot easier left click or right click. I think this is pretty much used to just move stuff around. And I'm going to be straight up honest with you, I honestly don't. What the heck? Oh, it like clones the pattern. Mm. Cool. Uh, well, let me see if that made a difference. Okay. Uh, anyway, that was weird. Mm, let me go ahead and delete these real fast because they're distracting. Okay. This is a selector tool. You can use this to do this, you know. Select these little pattern blocks, the ones you want to get, copy them, move them around. You can select them and then take the pencil or the paintbrush and just, or that mover thing, just move them around. Control C, remember, is to copy. Control V is to paste. And Control X is to cut. Very important for you beginners. You memorize these key shortcuts and it will make your life a lot easier. Um, Moving on to the next tool, magnifying glass. Pretty self-explanatory. Click somewhere, it zooms in closer. You can also use this thing. Cl click on it and click and hold on it and drag up or down and ooh, stretchy. Okay, uh, this is the thing that tells you how your blocks, pattern blocks, are gonna snap. Like if I click none, it won't snap to the grid at all. It's just free to move around. If I click cell, it's gonna snap to the cells. Uh, line is gonna snap to the lines once you get it you get it okay and um, another useful feature pretty sure most of you have learned about this panning thing over here where you can make the sound left or right but mostly for you techno makers you can vary your song if you uh what the heck why is this purple okay Oh, it's my painting. Oh, haha, <laughs> dude. Okay, um, forgot about that. Uh, you basically go to the sound that you want to get, uh, panned throughout the song. Right click on the, uh, the, this, gotta create automation clip. And then, bam. Like, mine's called Sexy Front because. It was normally, never mind, don't worry about it. Like, let me go through. 
I'm not sure if YouTube actually does stereo now. But if it does, then you should be able to hear it switching in and out. explain to you about this first of all that was a beat i threw together real fast like real fast um this painting thing you're gonna come up with this yours is not gonna look like mine it's gonna have like three points and you can take these points and drag them around uh and in order to get more you just right click on the spot you want it on oops i just deleted the thing but yeah and then you put this over the part of the song and it, like if i put it over here it won't affect this first part at all start having when it's here though very very useful mostly for techno users though not so useful for hip hop um pretty much all I gotta say let me think I can think of anything like off the top of my head real fast mm, nope that's it okay before I end this I'd like to thank all of you guys for subscribing commenting rating love it guys positive comments keep me going so much. I read all your comments. I read all your messages. I try to reply to them all. Um, I hit 300 plus subscribers yesterday or two days ago or whatever. Very good. Thank you guys so much for your support. Keep on watching, please. Rate and comment. And subscribe if you want more tutorials on Fruity Loops. Possibly some other program if I ever get around to it. Um, no, that was weird. Alright, goodbye YouTube.